Today, let's learn the 10 best travel jobs that pay well and anyone can do. The upside of this COVID fiasco is a lot of people have realized that they don't have to be stuck in their office to do their job. And if your job can be done from home, then it usually can be done remotely too. And that means from anywhere, there's a Wi-Fi connection. A word of caution though, this lifestyle ain't for everyone. But after this list, you'll at least know what each job entails, how much you can get paid, and how much travel is necessary. Another word of caution, there is a very famous saying that goes, get it how you live. But you also have to keep in mind that travel is usually done for leisure. It's done to escape the everyday hustle and bustle of work. If travel is your favorite pastime like it's mine, you may not want to mix in work, mandatory tasks, and deadlines into your escape from those exact things. Just like entrepreneurship, the travel job lifestyle is not for everyone. I had to be creative to create the lifestyle I currently have. I combined the mix of the latest technologies, online monetization strategies, and work that I don't mind doing. As you can see from my five plus years of making YouTube travel videos, it works for me. If you are ready to leave the traditional punch clock, small daily cubicles, and watching the sun go up and down from an office window, these may be the 10 best travel jobs that pay well and anyone can do. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rock Lane. I'm a travel advisor. Passport Kings shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make informed decisions when picking your next vacation. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the notification bell so you can be the first in the know when I upload new content. All right, so number 10 is a travel nurse. It's become quite simple to find positions to be a travel nurse. Certain websites like nursefly.com are practically begging nurses to get involved with nursing on location. It's especially simple to get into if you're already a nurse. But if you aren't, going to nursing school can take a lot of time out of your life, especially if you're already past college age. This is why it's so high up on the list. It'll take you about four to eight years to start a new career as a travel nurse. And you can't slack on your way through school because the people who will be dependent on your help in other countries can really do without a C and D minus student poking on them while your mind is at the beach. Number nine is internet marketing for small businesses. Social media like YouTube and Facebook make this brand new kind of lifestyle possible. It's number nine because you will have to become a salesman before you can get to work. Your goal will be to go to local businesses that aren't internet savvy and convince them to let you run their social media. Your job will be to keep up with the market marketing trends and execute those strategies for their company. A job like this can be done from anywhere in the world with Wi-Fi access. When done correctly, this easily tops the highest paying travel jobs. Get more than a few clients and you can be raking in tens of thousands of dollars per month. The downside is you have to keep in mind that a lot of these businesses already have social media up and running. Lastly, you have to produce real results. So don't dare offer your services if you don't already have a real grasp of the procedures. Now, number eight is tour guide. A lot of people think tour guides need to be native of the place that they're going to be a tour guide for. This couldn't be further from the truth. This is like all of the comments that I get on YouTube when people say, you're not even from here, why are you talking about it? The answer is the customers want to hear about this place from someone who's visiting because they will also be visiting. This type of job is excellent for an expat who lives in the location of their choice. Your day-to-day -day job will be advertising to people who are interested in the new city, state, or country. The best way to advertise is to take a few people who are already visiting on a free tour and take lots of pictures and videos showing them around. Get on the internet and blast that info to everyone who will listen. If there are a lot of Facebook groups on the subject, join them and let the owners of the group know what you're advertising. Just don't do anything fishy like taking ownership of the group if something unfortunate happens to the real owner. Instagram is a great place to show people what you have to offer as well. Even Airbnb now has an option where you can host what's called an experience for people who want to visit your town. Keep up with the tourist attractions and learn about adventures off the beaten path. Just make sure that when you create your tours that you are giving people who trusted you to show them around value for their money. And it's in your best interest to go above and beyond. If you don't, you may ruin your reputation and you don't want to do that. <laughs> Number seven is a travel blogger slash stock photo provider or any successful blog writer. <laughs> People seriously believe this career is played out or oversaturated. It isn't. Yes, there are 1,500,000 blogs out there calling themselves travel blogs. There is a very big difference between a travel vlog or blog 
or a good travel vlog or blog. The skills needed to be a good writer are obtainable by anyone, but the vast majority of people go into the profession with a know-it-all attitude, which makes them create forgettable junk lacking in storytelling ability, time-tested SEO ability, and basic editing and grammar knowledge. No amount of sensationalism, quasi-porn, or consistency will make up for those glaring flaws. Without basic blogging skills, potential customers will see right through it and pass whenever you have something to offer. But if you take this career seriously, it could be one of the most lucrative and most passive ways to have a high paying job in travel. A lot of your work will be done up front. Then with the correct formula, you start getting paid constantly on a passive income basis from then on. The most work you'll have to do is update certain blog posts from time to time to keep your pages current. There are plenty of courses that show you the correct methods. And even if you get some negative feedback on your vlogs or blogs, it really doesn't matter. Most platforms only care about activity, so they don't care if it's negative or positive. I'm currently going through a few courses about being great at SEO and I'm trying to find the right one to promote. Once I can say without a shadow of a doubt that one of these internet gurus have cracked the code, I will promote them on every blog I produce. So as of right now, stay tuned. And this career also goes very well with selling stock photos and videos. Selling stock photos and videos is tedious work, however. You can't even pull it off on an airplane. I can't recommend it to a one-man band kind of situation. But if you're good at photography and cinematography, adding stock images to your repertoire make being a travel blogger even more lucrative. Now, number six is a truck driver. The travel locations are mostly not extraordinary and the hours are long. However, being a truck driver transporting heavy loads will keep you on the go. The pay for truck drivers that work for private fleets like Walmart can be about 70 k even more if you own your own truck or fleet. This is also a viable solution for travel heads because you can get weeks off at a time and won't have to wait until once yearly time off to take a vacation. Now, before I get to the top five, let me add an honorable mention. Being a military vet is a great way to enjoy free travel benefits. Using what is called space available, service members and their families can world hop and usually only pay planes, taxes, and fees. If you're willing to get a leg blown off in a war fought for a cause that you're not 100% into, this is a great option. These benefits last long after you retire from the military and your pension will take care of your other travel and expat living expenses. Now make sure you watch the end of this video so you can download my free ebook about how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and press the notification bell. Now number five is engineer. A lot of the skills that it takes to be a successful software or hardware engineer can all be done from anywhere in the world. If you have heard the term digital nomad and are not sure what it means, these people are usually software engineers who have the opportunity to work remotely for companies. These jobs do not require travel, but if travel is included, these are some of the best travel jobs in the world. Web designers and developers are not the only kinds of engineers that get paid to travel. If you work for a company that installs heavy and complicated machinery, a lot of times the company will need a tech to come to their city for a couple of days to install and teach the staff how to work the new hardware. But with a career like this, you're definitely going to need four-year training from a college or a technical school. You're also going to have to upgrade your knowledge every couple of years to stay ahead of the trends in your industry. Now, number four is to be a travel agent. I'm a travel agent. I book travel for people who want to go anywhere in the world and I make commissions. It starts small and slow, but balloons once you get enough steady clients. The trick here is to explain and show people that they are not getting charged extra for using a travel agent. For some reason, the thought of paying more for an agent is embedded into people's minds. People are usually afraid because they think I'm gonna add a price hike for services rendered. Once customers understand that any payment you get, they would have paid anyway to whatever book it yourself online engine that they use, they'll see the error in their ways and book with you from then on. I've even created an entire video that explains how every kind of travel pays commission and it's only a matter about who the commission goes to. And you can check out that information in the video that I'm posting above. And once a travel agent gets over that hump with friends, families, and cold calls, the pay for a travel agent is outstanding. Travel agents are well-traveled and knowledgeable thanks to the perks and training provided by resorts that want them to learn about their offerings. The knowledge is the difference maker when a customer is deciding who deserves the commission that automatically comes out of their charges. 
If this is a career that interests you, I can get you started. Go to the link that pops up now. And if you just want to book a vacation with Passport Kings, you can also click this link that I'm providing above. Now, number three is not being a travel agent. There are people who just feel that being a travel agent is just too 80s for them. Or better yet, there are those who used to be travel agents, found out all of the inside secrets, and wrote an ebook exposing how everyday people can get out of this world deals on everything related to travel. In the ebook that I'm linking, a best selling travel agent has done just that. He was fired from an agency and now says he's out for revenge. His guide is groundbreaking, and quite frankly, I'm not too sure I should even be advertising it. But this is Passport Kings, and we provide you the truth no matter where it comes from. His guide that I'm linking above and attaching to the comments reveal the top insider secrets and shocking loopholes to finally fly around the world at mind blowing discounts and he has the receipts to prove it. This resource may not provide you with a direct income, but with all the savings and travels that you'll be introduced to, you'll be able to take a lot more time off of work and still be able to afford travel like someone who has their business paying for everything. Now number two is a pilot slash flight attendant. Your job every day will literally be to travel. You'll be helping people on commercial flights get from one city to another. While on duty, you won't have much control over where you're going, but when you're off, the world becomes easily accessible because you'll be able to fly standby for free or for close to nothing. These positions also offer the most flexible schedules that I've ever seen in any industry. Some pilots and flight attendants will work for a week or two and then take the rest of the month off every month. They get great pay and have a lot of time to explore the world on their terms. The only thing to watch out for is, like police, they are pretty much always considered on duty. You're expected to behave yourself on your deeply discounted adventures, even when you're not on the clock and don't have a uniform on. To learn more about becoming one of the main cogs in the travel wheel, I also recommend a book called How to Work in Travel. It's only like $17 now. So for less than two Frappuccinos at Starbucks, you can learn the ins and outs of how to ace airline interviews and other information that has been well kept from the general public and only passed around by people who are already in the business. I'm attaching a link to this book and two testimonials that this book received. All right, so number one is a foreign services officer. A foreign service officer works for the US government and enjoys the benefit of traveling like a diplomat. I know Trump told you that Jared Kushner was taking care of all of the world's most complicated issues like immigration and disaster relief in places around the world, but actually it was foreign service officers doing all of the heavy lifting. This highest paying travel job gives you the responsibility of promoting peace and prosperity of other countries while also advancing the interests of America. America. You'll be the type of person that the James Bond types keep an eye on. So as you guessed it, your record needs to be clean and the pay is outstanding. All of the other careers that I've mentioned will make sure that you get paid to travel, but being a foreign services officers will have you protected, escorted, and up in some of the most remarkable locales in the world, like a king of passports. Peace. Peace.